went with Geese during a uh, combo breaker, didn't he? Uh, thing, thing that he did a lot with Geese, he did like uh, a counter go, a counter throw grab against like uh, player his opponent was able to go, about to go for a jab. Sure, worked out pretty well for him. And like you know, being Geese, you can opti you can optimize your combo all the way with just mm. like uh, just like low pokes, going to max cancels. Also, of course, the threat of parry. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's also a big deal. But then just, I mean, so many people have talk, been talking about, it, just, you know, just the nature of this character, Akuma as well, and a lot, even Eliza too. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, like yeah. A lot of people been talking all about the, stuff. All the meter like, characters. Yeah, you got a nerf these characters. Despite the nerfs, right, this is still, uh, this might be he's still so good. Yeah, he's, he's, still, so good. he's a really strong character. Like, he got, like, all the tools, right? A lot of good mid pokes, a lot of good counter hit tools. And I, this is kind of what gets overlooked to me is a lot of times his moves on block at the close range. He, like Kazumi, especially the way she used to be, right? Yeah. He's so good even on block at sticking to you in this range yeah. where he has control. He can just rotate around. Again, those jab strings, that down forward one while standing one even. But one thing I'm not quite certain is going to work out for Nido is that Usan is a, such a strong keyboard player, right? He's really good at like spacing out. That's right. Now break this board. You. And All give right. me the wall too. Usan now in position. Nice round. And that's the big thing too, being able to take the floor breaks away from the opponent as well. Just yeah. because Geese has lots of good ways to be able to convert into that as well. All right, Usan is finding his momentum, right? Finding his way. All right, go into the riding too. Lock him down. Fighting out. And just a lot of step right from me, right? Looking for a whiff opportunity. Also, oh. not really giving it to him though, right? Yeah, there we Close go. Another ground break. Gonna yeah, get a he big takes combo. a second pull. Oh man, he's just locking me down right in the corner. Oh, and why? Tiger uppercut, maybe a missed input. Oh, name determined. Oh, nice size set for me. Right. Trying to touch your toes, he nasty. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, back dash just out of range. That, yeah, it's that, tough to whip that, on That's what he's so good it's at, tough, right? It's tough. All right. Gotta right find the right moment. Point. It seems like he's fishing for that magic four. Oh, and he just stand oh, there and go for the low. <laughs> when they just go up into each other's face and just don't do anything. Yeah, that's what he's so scary. There you go. Oh, back there you go. Back to you, too. That's going to take the deal. When both players know what they're looking for, when he... Osan on the other side knew, too, right? He's, I know he's looking for that. And wow, able to close it out. The timeout? And he took the floor, too. Yeah, so now, like, Osan's going to start. But, like, both players don't have the floor anymore. So it's, it's just, but it's both right? these players, both these characters still so good at the wall, right? Yeah. So right here. Gets the re-jump in. Double rep ender. All right. We can just take the damage. There's a little bit of additional damage you get from Double Rep Ender. Oh, nice side step there from Busan. All right, pushing his way out. Getting that jab to interrupt the step. Oh, and look at Nii's patience, just waiting for Usan to whip. Try to go for something. Just waiting and moving. Waiting and moving. Look oh, at that, that step. Oh, that is the fat punch. That step got him 20 damage. Just off the jab. Again. All right, go for the low. Usan going to make something big to make a comeback. And there, you knew what was coming. Drive. You knew what was coming. The combo's not going to be quite enough, though. One hit is all it takes. Storm! Oh, nice block there from Usan. Oh, and go with the mid kick. Takes the game from Nii. Round and, the, and the thing is, as soon as Nii's back was to the wall and you saw all sudden rage, you knew he was looking for that opening yeah, to be able to leave that drop. All right, nice oh, throw right break there. it. Right, Usan's making it. Oh, break another good throw attack. Yeah, all sons aware. Oh, and the spacing, that back dash. All right, go with the back two. Seal the step with the back once. Quick toe tap to interrupt, but then knee coming through with the elbow. Shoulder, rather. Down three in the crouch tab, it whips. And look at the step right from Osan, man. making these side step adjustments. These movements. Chopping away his legs with those lows. Oh, and go for the miss this time around. Oh, and wait for that parry and seals the game from knee. That... That you have to imagine their play experience versus each other came into play at the end there, right? Yeah, he, he was the, he knew to expect the parry back to the wall geese like that. He has a bar to give and he's down. He's probably looking for that. And also knew perfect punish. Oh boy, that's yeah, especially when you watch a high level play sometimes. Sometimes it, it's cool to me where you, you watch players at this level sometimes don't do anything. Just wait. Yeah, just they just wait, wait there. Wait, but that's the react. right thing to do in yeah. Tekken, right? Like uh, you can control so much space by just moving around in Tekken. But this is like sidestepping, and like when people make mi like minor like mistakes, you can just go for like so those like sure. uh, small punishes, and those th those just adds up, right? So who's gonna face Arsenal Nash in winners finals? Right now, Olson up one game. Kony locked in the geese at this point. The Mishima line ends here. Round one. Fight. All right, both players just checking he does it out. Oh, and there we go. The magic, magic four. four. Go for the optimal combo. Reach the wall. Minus 55% wow, like that. 
now. Okay, you oh, want to crouch? Okay. Fine. Fine, it works. Coming through, lower that shoulder. Me now in rage. No bar to give though. Gonna have to do this honest. Oh, I'm lost any one in the follow up. Yep. Yeah. He's only he hasn't shown that yet, right? It's oh, often used one, to the, yeah, yeah, he always do it the one. Yeah. Often used to discourage what steps and uh, reactions after the down forward one, right? That's what you gotta do, right? You got like those things that make people like question. And that's the perfect time to do it too, to close out a round yeah, like that. Right. So, I'm backing out. Find the right moment. Oh, knee. Nice With punch from knee. Down four. Oh, it's nice too broken. Oh, and the win. There we go. Back three locked and loaded at the wall. Rap Bender just to be able to hold the pressure after. But Usan, though, can definitely make a comeback after this. All right, go for the second, for the last hit. Knee was oh, neutral jump. Oh, but now knee's in the corner. And I can feel it. The race time's coming. Yeah. Oh, one more health away. Oh, another one. Get the OTG. Right. But the thing is, Nii doesn't have to go in. Oh, look at this. The time. time gonna come back. Usan, oh, off the draw. Usan's going in. Oh, it's gonna three, be a dude. Two, three, two. Who can close it out like that? That's so good. Him just backing up like that. He knew that Usan had to go in at that point. And sh jump back Shippuken is a perfect round closer to be able to do, do something like that. But in Usan that was doing a really good job of landing those hits, though, without by the time limits. All right, check with those jabs. This time it works out. Big chunk of damage. Big four. Catches Olsan stepping. Oh, a nice duck on the last hit there. All right. Put a slip in that duck and launch it between the last high there. Get the ground hit. Oh, and then the grab at there the wall. we go. And you're going to bleed for this. Oh, but you can get up the corner. This one, two, touch. Oh. Hey, Bill, back to you coming. Oh, no, it's a forward two. Olsan now at set Round point, but four. the big thing is bottom right corner of your screen. Fine. That's it, like two but, bars. But the, the thing is, you have to imagine, he wants to be able to save a lot of that bar for the for the last round, right? He wants to ideally probably go into the last round with two bars to give. So look for him to maybe burn one bar. And there you here. go. Just yeah, like you mentioned. Go. Just do that sidestep and try to optimize it. And it's good that he did it early on, too, right? Because you're going to be able to, just over the course of the match, if you win this round, you're going to naturally be able to build up and build up enough to be able to go into the last round with two. Definitely always going to work towards your favor, right? If you're yeah. healthy in the beginning. Still, Osan nice. just poke his way in. The down three, and there's so much just micro steps too. The watch the way Nii just weaves in these little steps in between his attack patterns. Nice quick punish, one, one, two. Oh, and, and again, the he just did it out there. Osan showed him the first time. I know how to deal with that. He did not listen, and now not he's in trouble. Enough though. Nii though, still got two bars to go. Oh, in rage, broken. Oh, go go the broken. Oh, oh, the whip, but no punish though. All right. What's the one? one. Keep it the right step. Up there. Right step. All the time, and Usan takes the game with a down four. Takes ending that knee down to losers. So you get Arsenal Nash versus Olsan. Winners, finals, winners. and Tiger uppercut. So the thing, now the big thing is this, man. That's big because now you drop.